Hi, welcome to A Hole in the Ground. My name is Jose and this is my video guide where I teach you how to make whimsical cocktails perfect for your next D&D session or game night. This is also a document as I progress and learn the art of cocktail making. Uh, all the drinks and recipes that you'll see in today's video are from the Dungeon Meister, a drink master's guide by Jeff Aldridge and John Taylor. Today's video is going to consist of three drinks that are going to increase in difficulty. It was originally going to be six drinks, but I didn't want to be sloshed by noon, so we're keeping it simple, we're keeping it classy, and we're keeping it dicey. So without further ado, let's roll for initiative. We begin with our one-star difficulty drink, the Troll Slobber. Is it the most appetizing name for a drink? No, definitely not. But hear me out, picture this. It's not actually troll slobber, so it's not gonna be disgusting. Instead, it's gonna be a really refreshing and sweet lemon-lime fusion with pineapple rum. Let's just get on to the recipe. We start with two scoops of sherbet in your glass. Just plop it in there. Then we add two ounces of pineapple rum and five ounces of lemon-lime soda. Get it nice and fizzy. Grab your cocktail stirrer and start lightly stirring in all the ingredients. You wanna make sure you get a cloudy bottom and a fizzy top. Don't go stirring like a blender. It needs to be light, finesse. Yeah. You don't wanna burst all the bubbles when you do this. Lastly, add some maraschino cherries as a garnish. Maraschinos, more like maraschino, yes. Oh, yeah. And voila, you have a tasty mug of troll slobber. Next, we dim the lights a little bit, put on the medieval equivalent of Barry White, get a little more intimate at the table with our two-star difficulty drink, the seduction roll. Picture it, you've been captured and you need to convince your jail guard to let you out. Or maybe you need to extract information from a tight-lipped diplomat. Or you're just one of those players who needs to romance every bartender that they meet along the way. You're gonna need a few tricks up your sleeve and why not impress them with the mastery of Cocktail making. We'll begin by mixing 16 ounces of cranberry juice, eight ounces of vodka, four ounces of amaretto, and three tablespoons of fresh orange juice. Then we're gonna chill the mixture, keeping it nice and cool until we're ready to serve. Add one cup of the mixture into an ice-filled shaker and start shaking it like crazy. Strain into your favorite glass, or a martini glass if you wanna be proper, and then garnish with a wedge of a tangerine. Or in my case, I have mandarins, which are kind of the same. Before you sip, look your partner deep in the eyes, roll a d20, and say, no matter the number, being here with you, that's a natural 20. Aww. At last we reach the pinnacle of mixology, the toughest and trickiest of cocktails. We must bow in reverence as we enter the trial of the three-star cocktail. This drink is called the Epic Upgrade. Tired of your boring old drink that just stays one color? So lame! Turn your common drink into a rare drink with this one simple trick. Now this is a three star drink, so it will comprise of two components. We're gonna start off by making our butterfly PT. So what we're gonna need is to boil our water and start steeping it for about five to seven minutes, making sure that it turns into a nice deep dark blue. While that's working its magic, let's turn to our secret sauce, our magical coup de gras. Combine citric acid powder and water in a small vial. You know the one, the one that's perfect for, you know, poisoning a king's cup or anything else that you would need a small vial for. Next, we combine our gin, simple syrup, and tea into an ice-filled shaker and shake to combine. Straight into your serving glass, something that'll elevate the occasion. Once your guests are ready, it's time for the magic. This is the part where you really ham it up. Make sure they never forget the moment where they saw someone turn something blue into purple. You're gonna add your citric acid mixture into your cocktail and voila, blue, purple, magic. And with that, we have our three drinks. Now it's time to hear what our lovely patrons have to say as we rank and discuss each cocktail. So we're back with our lovely patrons. Uh, we're gonna try out our concoctions. And yeah, we're starting off with our number one, uh, the troll slobber. So <laughs> there you go. I will also be partaking in this so that it doesn't seem like I'm poisoning you all. It smells nice. I mean, that truck could be poisoned. I mean, 
I cup. know which cup is poisoned and which isn't. <laughs> mm. I think it's really good. It's so refreshing. I think maraschino helps a lot, like going in. Because you look at it and it's green. And you're like, <laughs> am I, what am I getting myself into? Am I being poisoned? Was I lied to? <laughs> but then you smell the cherry and it's like, oh, okay, things will probably be okay. And then it ends up being pretty good. Definitely a headache inducer, but what, what, out of 10, what are you giving this? I mean, I like how you can only feel like a bit of it. I'm gonna give it, I'm between an 8.5 or a 9. Taste wise, it's like, it's like a 7. Mm. Headache inducer, 10. I'm like, I'm gonna get super <laughs> cronched and headachey after this. Yeah, it sounds like it'll do that. Yeah, the presentation's nice. The color, oh. not, <laughs> a little upsetting, but not too upsetting. <laughs> the color? The color? It is, yeah, it is a very upsetting color. Just like a, a, a putrid neon green. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be slimed in a, like, a lot of <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's not the worst uh, fruity drink I've had. Uh, Fruity-esque drink. I'll give it a 7.5. All right. Wow. All right. So Tough to beat. Tough to beat. For me, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty up there. <laughs> All right. And now, I think I already introduced this, but we're trying our second or two-star typical tea drink, the seduction roll. Um, and I got to say, while making this, um, eight ounces of vodka and then four ounces oh of amaretto <laughs> does sound pretty crazy, but then you kind of like split it up. So like, hopefully it doesn't. And like the cranberry juice, which I'm not a fan of, is... All right, let's just try it. <laughs> Way to sell it. <laughs> Way to sell it. I, I know that this one's going to be wild. I've never uh, like drank straight up amaretto. Smells amazing. I mean, I can feel the cranberry. Wah. 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 <laughs> Wah. <laughs> Full disclosure, this is the second time I make this, and the first one was probably worse. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some simple syrup in this because I bought mm -hmm. unsweetened cranberry and unsweetened mm -hmm. orange juice and it, sta it tasted so tart it was <laughs> bad <laughs> this is a sipping drink not a chugging drink yeah <laughs> but like like what what would be the vibe of this drink like where would you drink this like what would be your ideal situation where you're like give me a seduction roll a smoky night a smoky night yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a yacht and i had nowhere else to go I was also thinking like a, wow. like a, I, I don't know, if I was like on the veranda in, a, as like the evening was coming mm. down in South Carolina. Mm. <laughs> That's probably where I would picture this drink being had. Like the smell is definitely its most seductive element and maybe the mm. color. Mm. Like, cause that, that mm. amaretto, those nutty notes on the, on the nose, nutty notes on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Honestly, the first one I made was like a straight up one. I tasted like medicine and it was too tart. Um, this one, I, I'd give a five. I'd like, you know, like if someone gave this to me, I wouldn't like outwardly, re like I wouldn't just like leave it somewhere and be like gone <laughs> and then never look at that again. I'd like, I'd drink half of this. You know if you froze this, like if it had like a jello format, like oh. it could work. Or yeah, or just like a slushy format. Or slushy oh, format. Yeah, that'd be actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you don't have to drink it too fast. <laughs> yeah. It melts and waters down. Yeah, it's true. And it yeah. also waters down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's but I think goes. it gets better over time. Like the first time you gave it to me, I was like, this is a three or a four. Yeah. But then the second, the second time I taste it, it's like, hmm. I'm more positively inclined to finish this. And then I think mm. if half an hour to go by, I would probably start you know, giving it a six or a seven. I was gonna also say seven. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for our number two star drink. Number two star, our two star difficulty <laughs> drink, the seduction roll. Second drink that we had. Welcome to the three star difficulty drink, the epic upgrade. Ooh. This one was probably the most convoluted one because you have to brew a tea and then only use a little bit of it. Tea. Um, also, not a big fan of gin, so uh, interested to see how this will taste. Hey, nice. I have <laughs> one particular taste and it's tequila. <laughs> 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 um, so here you go. This is so already much. with the citric acid combined, so we did see the color change from blue to purple. Mm. Um, on a scale of one to purple, though, this is kind of <laughs> like a pink-ish. 
You can smell the citrus from a mile away. Yeah, you really can. It's either the citrus or the gin. It's not that bad. It this almost, time around. It almost gives like lemonade for some reason. Yes, what? Lemonade. It almost gives lemonade. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. The, the citric factor hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know, but okay, we didn't cleanse our palate before the last one. I didn't. I did. Okay, I didn't <laughs> cleanse our palate. So maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm gonna give it a five. It's wow. not, I don't think it's- Is it's, this lower than the, the other yes. one? Yes. I think wow. this was, um, yeah, it was my bottom tier, but it's also, what? it's really cool looking. It, it doesn't taste bad. Uh -huh. I think it's just more of like, I right, for this one it has to be more of a specific, like I'm thinking about this one. To drink it. Okay. So not on that one. Not on that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're so we're changing up the rating system. Right here on the last one. It's either uh, it's on a scale of one to twenty. One being a critical fail. Twenty being a critical success. Ooh, okay. This is probably like a nineteen. This is Whoa. close. This is close to a critical. Uh, this is like way better than what I made the first time. This is really good. So if you were making death saving throws, this would put you back up. This would, this, I would, I would be just safe. Uh, okay. I wouldn't be at one HP. Gotcha, I would be gotcha. safe. Mm. I really, really liked the flavors of the first two. Okay, I guess I just really. And didn't I think like too much. I would drink those more often than this one. Mm. Those had but, flavor for sure. Yeah. Uh, wow, you guys are saying this has no flavor? I'm saying it has. It has what? texture. Texture. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. This and one, the texture. This one has like. Like a bite, <laughs> not bite, but it has like you know that that, that feeling. Mm, but okay. the flavor, not as much as the other ones for me. Okay. Well, yeah, I gotta agree. Uh, this ain't the best. If someone fed this to me as I was at eight, zero HP, I would roll over. Uh, not die, but I would roll over. Okay. And, uh, you could be you could be revivified. <laughs> But it does taste like medicine, so maybe it might put me put me back up. You know, it, that's what I gotta say. Like, it tastes like emergency. Like, if I was like on a flight, uh, you know, in 2020, uh, <laughs> you would take this drink right I, before. I would it. drink like quite a few of these and feel so good being on that plane. <laughs> yeah, I would start yeah. singing Jimmy Buffett for sure. I'm gonna give it. Wait, did you give it some? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> less than a ten for sure. <laughs> I'm so, interested to see what rollover would be. On a scale of t uh, 1 to 20, it would be 5, but for the astute audience out there, you can multiply by 2. So it's yeah. a 10. That would have... Yeah, you're tough. reading it for the, for the yeah, you're right, value. You're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I guess I'm just very defensive right now about, about this drink. I'm going to say, I'm going to say like 12.5. Okay. Okay. Maybe 13. Okay. It, it could it could change depending on the mood, but for right now, this mood right now is not. It, yeah. It's not it. It's but it's not bad either. So that's okay. why it's like up there, like thirteen. It's not a good. It's not a bad number. So then, so then it seems that Troll Slobber unanimously is definitely number one out of the three drinks. Averaging out for the yeah. astute audience. For the astute audience who is doing the math out there. <laughs> Troll Slobber number one. Yeah. It seems seduction roll is number two. Yeah. And then this one's number three. Number three. Yeah. Not my ranking. Hashtag. Not my <laughs> ranking. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for partaking in anytime. these drinks. Um, and now a word from our sponsors. Emergency. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for visiting the hole in the ground and thank you to Dungeon Meisters for these drink recipes. Uh, this was a lot of fun and I hope to continue making these videos in the future. If you have any fun drink ideas or recipes that you want to share, please feel free to put those down in the comment. And until our next adventure, cheers.